Well, we know Maine's housing market is very competitive right now, and it's tough to navigate. Homes still selling at near record high prices. That could lead to mortgage payments being too high for some people to pay. That could lead to foreclosures, which were trending upward in 2022, but have started going down over the past few months. Chris Costa joining us live in studio tonight with what you can do if you find yourself facing foreclosure. Hi, Chris. Hi, Brian and Amanda. I spoke with two real estate groups and with state leaders who say there are options for people facing foreclosure and that many people don't even know they exist. You never think it's going to happen to you, and then it does. No one expects to lose their home. I was very well off at one point in my life and for many, many years and this ended up happening to me. Do you want to do it in the guest room or something? Lolly Comstock moved into a condo in Scarborough after her divorce. Soon, she was behind on her mortgage payments, facing foreclosure. It literally put me in a tailspin. I have never been so terrified in my life. I mean, can you imagine being homeless with two small kids? It, it's like the worst feeling ever until she got a letter in the mail offering a solution from a realtor. I was a little skeptical. I was like, is this a total scam? It has all the red flags, a proven win-win, no obligation, help for free. Sounds too good to be true. It is. That's Cash Wiseman. Absolutely is. The man behind the letter. With the inventory problems we have, the interest rates we have, they probably just think we're looking for a listing to sell a property and get paid on a commission. So I have to call and explain it to them and what we do. What they do, Cash and his teammate Jessica, is offer options. You know, being in this business, you get paid on commission. Uh, we get paid on changing people's lives. And I had no idea. I just assumed foreclosure meant the bank was taking the house back, period. End of story. One option is a short sale. Cash and Jessica negotiate with the bank to accept less than what the person owes on the mortgage. Then they put the house on the market at an auction price. Once someone buys it, the seller uses that money to pay off the bank and start fresh without foreclosure damaging their credit for roughly 10 years. If the seller does not make any money on the short sale, they do not pay the realtors anything. When you're in that particular situation, we can help you all the time. The other option is modifying the mortgage. That means extending it and tacking the missed payments to the end. It's a process his teammate, Jessica Page, has worked both sides of. It's a lot of paperwork. You basically have to put your life down on paper. Um, and it kind of explain why you can't afford your mortgage. It's a niche that nobody wants to do, help people. And hundreds of people in Maine need that help. In 2022, 668 people entered the foreclosure process. People living in Cumberland, York, Oxford, and Kennebec counties. Those counties make up more than half the state's population. And I think one of the hardest things is for people to ask for help. Um, so I think it's important for people to know there is help out there. You just need to ask for it. It can happen to anybody, absolutely anybody. That's also why Maine Housing relaunched the Homeowner Assistance Fund earlier this month. The program is meant to help low and moderate income homeowners catch up on their payments if they fell behind during the pandemic. There could be a level of despair that kicks in and says, well, you know, I'm so far behind that I'm never going to get this fixed. Well, this program is designed to help solve for that. The maximum benefit per homeowner is now up to $50,000. We can fix everybody's problem. We can fix their problem and, and move forward. Even for a guy named Cash, it's not about the money. I'm a problem solver. I'm not a salesman. <laughs> problem solved. Lolly was able to find a new apartment to rent. It's not the end. You can sell your house. You can get some money to restart your life. So Dan Brennan from Maine Housing says most times people don't fall behind on mortgage payments alone. It's likely they lost a source of income, suffered a hardship, and that they're behind on all types of payments, including utilities, car payments, and more. This homeowner assistance fund from the state allows people to use that money for past due mortgage or tax payments, overdue utility bills, including sewer, water, electricity, heating fuel. The program can also pay overdue HOA fees or the lot rent for a mobile home 
that people own. So a lot of options there. Really interesting. All right, Chris Costa, thank you.